Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. Every year when the, Immac the Feast of the Immaculate Conception rolls around, what's the Immaculate Conception? From the very first moment of her conception, Mary was preserved from all stain of original sin uh, by the merits of her son's future life, death, and resurrection uh, in a singular act of grace. I made a video about this uh, a while back that um, kind of explained here's why we believe that, and here's where you can see it in Scripture and whatnot. Anyways, one of the things that I find when it comes to Mary then, so, so she, she was without sin, okay, um, I find that then people are like upset, like they're, they're resentful, they're kind of a little jealous, they're like, well, what the heck, seriously? Like, so she doesn't have to have sin, so she gets to be the perfect one, and I have to like muddle through this world and, and, and kind of like struggle and, and strain at this, but okay, she got to have like the charmed life, she got to have like perfection, she got to not have to deal with all the things I have to deal with. Thanks a lot, God. Like sometimes, actually, you might think that's ridiculous. I've talked to people who were very, very upset that um, they say, well, if God could have done that with Mary, why, didn't he do it, does it, why doesn't he do that with everyone? And that's why the dogma says in a singular act of grace, right? So it's a very unique situation. One of the things we realize is because God was calling Mary to a particular role, and there's a, a, a truth that God always gives us what we need for whatever he's called us to. Right? So if God has called you to something, he will always give you whatever it is you need to accomplish that task. Okay, that's true. Why do you and I have no reason to be jealous of Mary for being without sin? If you've ever tried striving after God and trying to do the right thing, you know how lonely that can be. Now imagine, here's Mary, who's living in this village with all these people around her. Now, she wasn't perfect even though she was without sin. Like She wasn't like an expert at macrame and mahjong and mathematics and other things that start with M. She wasn't perfect about those things. It just simply means that whenever it came to uh, the choice to compromise with sin or to not compromise and fight for God and fight for good, she never compromised. She always fought. If you've ever done that, if you ever refused to compromise with sin and, choose, and chosen to choose God, you know how lonely that can be. I would say, I would, I would venture to say, that there's never been a person who's ever walked through this life, who's walked through this earth, who's walked on this planet, who had to walk a more lonely road than Mary. Because her whole life, she never compromised with sin and she was walking in the midst of a broken world with a bunch of people who compromised with sin. Her whole life, she always chose God and she was walking through a broken world where all these people, even decent people, weren't choosing God. And I imagine, just can you imagine how excluded that kind of person would be? I mean, not because she was goody two-shoes or because she was like presenting herself as holier than someone else, but she was holier than them. And that is a lonely, lonely walk. I mean, just think about the profound loneliness of Mary. But then you can also think of this, the profound strength of Mary. Because if you've ever had to walk that lonely road, if you've ever had to, uh, to like, be that person who doesn't compromise. You, if you've had to be that person who has to figure out, okay, God, I'm going to still love you even though like everyone around me hates me for loving you. If you've ever had to be that person, you know how much strength you need. Because sometimes people say this. Sometimes people think like, well, that's ridiculous, you know, Mary, and then later on Jesus, her son, who is also God, by the way, um, never sinning, never compromising with sin. They say, well, they don't even know like, how bad sin is. They don't even know how, how hard it is to live in this world. You realize that, the per is it the person who compromises with sin who knows how hard it is to fight? Or is it the person who never compromises with, with sin who knows how hard it is to fight? There was never a moment in Mary's life, and then later on in Jesus' life, when they even for a moment compromised with the compromises that you and I do all of the time because it's more convenient, because it's slightly easier, because it's like, it's gonna get us out of trouble. She never compromised. It's like C.S. Lewis, I think he said something about this. He said, um, it's only the, the person who stands against the wind who knows how strong it is, not the person who lies down, lets it blow over him. It's only the person who, who stands and fights against the army that knows how strong that army actually is. No human being, no strictly speaking human being, although Jesus is fully human and fully God, but Mary, who's only human, no one ever walked a more lonely road than her. But also, no one ever developed that strength, more strength than she had to develop because of God, through God's grace, on that lonely walk. So what am, what's this all about? If you find yourself lonely, you have a friend in Mary. 
if you find yourself like just being the one in your group that's not willing to compromise with what everyone else is willing to compromise, you have a friend in Mary. That if, if you find yourself being excluded or isolated because like you're just like, I'm just trying to do the right thing, I'm just trying to choose Jesus, I'm just trying to choose God, then you have a friend in Mary. If you ever found yourself saying, I don't know, maybe I just, maybe this time I compromise, maybe this time I'm just so exhausted, maybe um, it doesn't matter if, if I just kind of let go of my strength. You have a friend and a model and a mom in Mary. And she, what does she do? She always brings us to her son, Jesus. And even as, as a friend, even as a model, even as a mom, she says, doesn't say, look at me, I check out how I did it. She's like, no, no, come with me. I know what this is all about. I know what you've been through. Come with me to him. Because he's the sun. Not just the S-O-N, he's the S-U-N. Mary's just the moon. Everything good in her is simply reflected um, off of Jesus' radiance, Jesus' goodness, and Jesus' glory. It just happens to be that she reflected him really, really well. <laughs> really, really well. You got a mom and she knows exactly what that's like and she's going to bring you to her son. And that son also knows what it's like to be lonely and rejected and to fight against sin. You got, you got some friends. One is Mary <laughs> and one is God himself. And that's pretty good company. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. Thank you.